static. What you are told is an input goes to the function machine, you add three, you then multiply by six, and you get the answer 38. Now we're going to use the inverse function machine to figure out what number went in. So the inverse of multiplying by six is? Dividing by six. Dividing by six. So if we put dividing by six there, and then the inverse of adding three is? Subtracting three. Subtracting three. So let's do it now. 48 divided by six is? Eight. Eight minus three is? Five. Five. That's what we're looking for. And that's it for now. But we're going to do it algebraically afterwards. Don't forget, you've got a couple of maths as well. Make sense? Checking, let's, uh, let's, let's keep this going. So this one minus three times six. So going backwards, we're going to do 12, then what? Divide by six and then add three. So 12 divided by six is two. Two add three is five. Another one. The next one, which is where I think you're at, just to check. The inverse of minus in three. Add three. The inverse of times by six. Divide by six. 12 add three is. 15. 15 divided by 6 is 2.5. What's the inverse of plus 3? Minus 3. What's the inverse of divide by 6? 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 times 6 is. Okay, next ones. Have you done them? Yeah. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. What's the inverse of subtracting three? Adding three. What's the inverse of times by twelve? Adding three. What's the inverse? Twelve add three is. 15, 15 divided by 12 is? 12. Yeah, is that what you got? Yeah. Again, same inverses, it's just a different number. So plus three and divide by 12. And this time, you should have the answer. So, this time the answer will be? 10.2. Yeah. This is your next one, yeah? So the inverse is? The inverse of times by 3 is? Divide by 3. The inverse of plus 12 is? Subtract 12. 12 divided by 3 is? What? 4. 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 minus 12 is? Negative. Negative. The inverse of divide by 3 is times 3. The inverse of subtract 12 is add 12. 12 times 3 is 36. 36 plus 12 is? 48. Have you done these or are you just reading mine off the board? No. Is that a very close question? Right. We didn't do it. Okay, I better stop next. So we've done this using numbers. All right. This 
we now know that if I put 5 in plus 3 times 6, I get 48. Okay? Therefore, the inverse, that's how I use it. But I want you now, because I've put space enough around it, I want you to write the function and its inverse function. So this is the hard one. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, above it, I'm going to say, I'm going to put x in. When I add 3 to x, I get x plus 3. Then when I multiply that by 6, I get x plus 3 all multiplied by 6. So that is the function. So y equals 6 times x plus 3. How do you feel about that one? Why have I put 6 at the beginning? Because 6 is 6, 6. Because you times 6 seconds, but when you times 6 to, without the three, you always put the multiplication by it. But people are not paying full attention. I'm trying to do the next step. You're going to complain to me that you can All right. One more. How do I do this one? So if I put x in, the first thing I do is subtract 3, so that would be x minus 3, I then have to times by 6, so it becomes x minus 3 times 6, so it's going to be y equals 6 times x minus 3. Okay, the next one, I'm going to put x in, I times by 6 first this time, so what does it look like? x times 6, but how do you write it? 6x. Now I'm going to do minus 3, so it becomes... So this one is y equals 6x minus 3. So that's the function. I want you to do that for all the others as well. Okay? So... This one here, then, that side gives you the function, yeah? This side here gives you the inverse function, right? Don't just switch X and Y, do you? You have to do something else first. So what we do is we write, say, one way to do it now is we switch x and y to start with, and we say, right, if the x was at this end now, it would be x divided by 6. Then it would be x divided by 6 minus 3. Okay? So the inverse function would be y equals x divided by 6 minus 3. Well, it's not the same, but well, it depends what you mean. Maybe, maybe. So this is the function. This is the inverse function. So for, once you've done the function for all of them, you'll then do the inverse function. Too. 